So, we're going to do a little warming up. And I would really encourage you to do this before singing, okay? Just like athletes do stretching and all that before they begin whatever they're doing, running, whatever, a singer needs to warm up, okay? Don't just walk into church, march up the steps, and start, okay? You probably, there's times maybe that that's happened because, you know, you were delayed in construction or something. If you've noticed, though, we all tend to sing better, a little bit better, after we've been singing. You know, if you start the liturgy cold, maybe halfway through you start feeling like, wow, okay, <clears throat> now, I'm, now I'm all ready. But you want to start ready. And to start ready, you got to warm up, okay? And so we did a little bit of warming up already with the posture exercise, okay? You want to be sure that your first, your posture is aligned so that you can begin singing about. And so we're just going to do some small warm-ups here. If you look at your um, handout here, voice lesson number two, we're kind of doing them out of order today. Uh, getting started, exercises and warm-ups. There's physical warm-ups. Do only those with which you are really comfortable. Don't overdo it or strain it. Again, if you have a shoulder issue or something like that, be mindful of that. Don't hurt yourselves. But do try to stretch. And we did the stretches. We reached for the ceiling. We did our shoulder rolls. Because these are kind of a, a preparation for getting our posture set. Um, do a posture check. Refer to lesson three for that. Okay. Now the other thing, we're going to talk about breathing in detail later, but stand up again. And we're going to do just a little breathing right now. If you ever have the opportunity to take voice lessons, probably the one topic which is talked about more than just about any other is breath. The breath is the fuel for the singing. And when we are singing, what are we doing? We're exhaling all the time. Think about it when you speak. You take a breath in, and then this moment you start talking, air starts coming out. You're exhaling. The exhaling, that air is going over the vocal cords, causing them to vibrate. And so we need to know how to breathe well, but we're going to just do a little breathing exercise. So it says, stand in good singer's posture with your chest held high and wide. How do you get the high and wide chest? You do this, right? And you feel that chest up. Your knees relaxed, everything. And then it says, inhale through your nose and fill your lungs to capacity and then you're going to do a little hissing sound. And we're going to count, I'm going to count to eight. And you're going to fill your lungs. And as you hiss, I'm going to count to eight. And I want you to empty your lungs in that span of eight. Okay? So let's do this. Here's our posture. Now, feel your belly drop to the floor. Breathe in. Now we're going to go. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Now I want you to be empty at the at when we get to eight. You're gonna in that span, you're gonna empty that. And I want you to focus on that smooth release of air as you do it. So let's do that again. Posture up. Okay, now let me do that again one more time. I, what I saw was I saw this happen as you breathe. Make sure you're already there, okay? When you breathe, these don't move. These don't move. Feel like you've got a string here on your belly button and somebody's pulling down to the floor as you, as you breathe. So let me see you do that again. Breathe through your nose. Good, now we're gonna, yes, ready? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, feel that smooth release of air. That's what you should be aiming for when you sing, is a smooth release of air. So you gotta warm up your, your, 
your voice or your breath first. And as you do this, keep that posture. Don't let this collapse. Okay? Keep it, keep it back. Okay? Now, we're going to talk more about breathing in detail, so I'm going to move on to the next thing. The next thing is to start with some singing. And I'll get, the, get, get this warmed up. When we get up in the morning, you know, if you're like me, you've got a little bit of <coughs> gunkala in there moving around, and you need to get that out of the way to sing. Okay. What's the best time? Your voice is like an octave lower. <laughs> Well, that's okay if everybody can match you. <laughs> but you want to get rid of any of that stuff that's in there. So you start getting it to move around simply by doing some talking. When I'm in the car, I'm so glad nobody's in the car with me on the way to church because I think I've taken leave of my senses. I'll start talking to myself. Good morning, Sean. Good morning. Everybody say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Take a deep breath. And I, it's like, you're, you're talking to somebody over there. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Yeah, there we go. That's it. I drive, I drive by Pine Swamp Road, and I'll sing to myself, Pine Swamp Road, and I'll sing that over on their various pitches. So warming up doesn't have to be, in the beginning, a set of vocalises, you know, me, 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 ma, mo, mu, or anything like that. It's just getting the voice moving. Hi there. Everybody say hi there. Hi, hi there. How are you? How are you? Daddy. Oh. <laughs> now, when I do that, I want you, when you do the warm-up, okay, I want you to feel that sound going up and out. How are you? How, How are, are you? you? Right. Up into your head a little bit like that. Okay? So you start with some vocalizing that way. Then you can do some humming. Um, well, I said begin with humming, but you know, I begin with talking, just because we talk all the time. And talking's a natural way. So let's do a little humming. This is just, if you know anything about solfeggio, do, mi, so, mi, do, just a chord. And we're going to go, everybody sing that. Now, when you hum, release this, make this very, very loose. Put your lips together, but keep your teeth apart. Everybody do that again. By the way, did you notice you're an octave apart when Jeff was talking about? That's why you can sing together. Okay? So you start with some humming, and you want to feel that hum vibrating around in your face, okay? Another one to do, which I didn't put here, is the word hung without the U. So I'm just taking out the U and saying H-N-G, hung. Everybody say hung. Hung. Yes. Now this one, feel this one go right up through your head. Do you feel that sound vibrating up in your head when you do that? Yeah. Okay, no. Just H N G, no vowel. No. Hmm. Hmm. Say hmm. 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 Put your tip of your tongue right here. Hmm. Hmm. Good. Hmm. When I do that. I feel it, I actually feel it behind my eyes. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's your head voice. You wanna you wanna get your head voice warmed up, okay? That's right, okay. That's that sound, you hear how resonant that sound is? 
Now, inside our head, of course, it sounds strange, I know. But that's a very, very, um, that's a sound that will carry far. But you start with some humming. That is a very simple one. It's just a chord, do mi so mi do. Then there's a couple of here, like uh, we do so fa mi re do, and it's going to be si a si, and then we go up. We do that twice, and then we go up. Okay, now si a si. When we say si, I want everybody to put their tongue right against their teeth and say C. 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 Okay, now keep that tongue there when you say ah, watch me. Oh. E, a, e, a, e, a, e, a, e. The tip of the tongue stays right there. The change from E to A ah happens back on the back of the tongue. <coughs> so I want you to just sing, this is simple. C, A, C. Now we're going to go. So when I did my C I C, C I C, I C, I'm thinking of that sound up here, and it sounds in my head. It sounds a little sad, okay? But it's just more resonant that way, okay? So try that. I want you to just go C I C and make it sound sad. Ready? C C I C. Already in your voice, I can tell there's more projection when you do that. We're going to talk about that later. That was nice. Very nice. Both of you did very well with that. So, that's another warm-up. It's simple. It's five notes. So, fa, mi, re, do. And you can move it all around. So, fa, mi, re, do. You know, wherever you want. Sing it over and over again. Again, what are we doing? We're warming up. We're getting, we're getting things moving. Be sure every time you do any of these exercises, you begin with a good preparatory breath. And that is keeping this posture up and thinking down to the floor. Do you notice when I breathe, nothing moves here. It's all down here. The air comes in our nose, our mouth, down into the lungs. Our body follows the same path. Breathing is 100% of the time down, a downward motion. You see some people breathe like this, and we're going to talk about this a little more later. That's bad. Always down. Now, another good vowel is the oo vowel. Where do we sing oo? Hallelujah. In places like that. Mm -hmm. And to sing a good oo, we want to do the same thing for that tongue there. Now we start with an L, and watch what happens. Loo. And it goes right down and to its resting spot. This is default. The default position for the tongue, right against the teeth. And this one is Do Re Mi Fa So Fa Mi Re Do. Okay, that's that's the outline of the pitches. And then you can move it around, you can make your do go up. Well, I didn't breathe at the start, so. so I didn't either. But a nice round shape, not too closed when you do your oo. Okay, not like a straw, because your oo won't come out. But oh, like that. Nice and round. Simple. 
make up some vocalises of your own or sing simple responses from the liturgy. Sing a few Lord have mercies in the car on the way to the liturgy. It doesn't have to be complicated. Everybody usually finds their own kind of warm-up. And it changes with the circumstance, with whatever you're singing. You know, if you're doing something pretty strenuous, like I think one of the most strenuous services we sing during the year is Resurrection Matins. Resurrection Matins, you know, it's, it's a toughie. And I usually end up doing it twice. Um, I change my warm-up for that. I mean, um, you, O King and Lord. I mean, that, every year that comes up. Um, and I warm up a lot to sing that. Because sometimes my priest goes a little high and I'm going to follow him. So, your warm up for a normal Sunday in the summer might not be as, as much as it would be for another occasion. But please, don't just walk into church and start singing cold. It's not really good for your voice. You want to you preserve your voice, so you want to warm it up. And you want to start with simple things. Simple talking, humming, blue, things like that. 